What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So I bought my Tesla Model 3 over six months ago and I put over 12,000 miles on the initial set of tires. So in this video, I actually have a tire gauge and we're gonna measure all four tires to see what type of tread we have left to estimate and see how much tread we have left on these tires. Let's get into the video. Thanks for watching another video. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I picked up this Tesla Model 3 about six months ago and I put 12,000 miles on my Model 3 performance sleeper. It has the 18 inch rims and I've definitely done some zero to 60s to see how much the performance can actually put onto the ground. <laughs> I've read that the 18 inch rims can last anywhere from 15,000 miles to 50,000 miles, depending on how you drive. Tires can cost anywhere from about $800 to $900 from my research. Most of the people have gone to Costco to get their tires swapped out. Since this Model 3 is my daily driver and I drive about 1,700 miles a month, or I used to, tires and the cost of tires were definitely a factor. For the full 12,000 miles, I've rotated them twice, once at 6,000 miles and another at 12,000 miles, both done at Tesla. So let's check out the tires with this tire gauge to see how much tread is left on them. All right, so here's my tires after 12,000 miles. You can see there's still a good amount of tread left. I haven't curbed this rim, but I've curbed all the other rims, unfortunately, <laughs> through a mixture of Turo and also my bad driving, my own bad driving. As you can see, yeah, there's definitely a good amount of tread left and not too much wear on the sides. But yeah, this is pretty much all 90, probably 80 to 90% highway driving with a little bit of city driving. So this is how the tires have pretty much been worn down so far. All right, so I've zeroed out my tire gauge. So Going to the first driver's side front tire, there is, oh wow, only three millimeters left. Let's check that again more in the center. 4.42 millimeters left in the driver front tire, to the front driver's side tire. Let's go to the rear. 4.73 in the rear driver's side tire. And for the passenger side tire, 4.3 millimeters. And the passenger side front tire, 4.24 millimeters. So, so this definitely isn't good because I do know for a fact that it's unsafe to drive with anything close or under two millimeters. So as you can see, in 12,000 miles, I've pretty much gone almost all the way there and I really only have another millimeter or two to go. So that means these tires are gonna last another maybe five to 10,000 miles for a total of 15 to 20,000 miles for the 18 inch rims on a Model 3 Performance Sleeper. So according to this millimeter to tread ratio graph that I found, I'll throw it on the screen as well. 4.5 millimeters of tread lift is about six, six 30 seconds. And typically tires start with around nine 30 seconds or 10 30 seconds. So we've gone about four 30 seconds down and tires at a minimum for the state of California have to be at least two 30 seconds, which is 1.59 millimeters. So yeah, I guess there's gonna be the cost of replacing my tires in the near future, which I wasn't really expecting. I was really hoping that the tires would go maybe 25,000 or even 40,000, but it looks like they're not gonna last past 20,000 at all. So probably I'm gonna to have to go to Costco and find a good deal, or hopefully I can maybe upgrade to some 20s with some new fresh set of tires and save on that cost. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it and comment below on your thoughts on how long the 18 inch tires have lasted or how long your 18 inch tires have lasted and also where you've gotten a good deal on 18 inch tires. I'd really love to know where you're going because I'm probably gonna have to go soon. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.